I'm KG Styles with your Astro Highlights November and December report. Astro Highlights is sponsored by PurePlantEssentials.com, home of organic pure essential oils and custom crafted blend sprays and ready to use formulas. Please visit PurePlantEssentials.com today. Celestial highlights in November and December include Neptune Station Direct on November 9th, followed by a Taurus full moon on November 10th. On the same day, Mars moves into Virgo for an unusually long eight month stay. The Sun enters Sagittarius on November 22nd, and Mercury stations retrograde on November 23rd. The very next day, on November 24th, there's a solar eclipse in Sagittarius. Two weeks later, Uranus stations direct on December 9th, and the very next day, on December 10th, we have a lunar eclipse in Gemini, followed by Mercury station direct on December 13th. Next, we have the winter solstice on December 21st, and the sun moves into stabilizing Capricorn, followed by a Capricorn new moon on December 24th. And finally, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, stations direct on t in Taurus on Christmas Day, December 25th. So, there's a lot happening in the stars, as dramatic shifts occur over the next several weeks. It's never been a more ideal time to meditate and stay connected to your own internal guidance system for making right action. And many of your, you will feel challenged to stay cool and calm with all the energies bouncing around you. Let's start with Neptune Station Direct in Aquarius. Neptune is the planet of psychic sensitivity, dreams, fantasy, and delusion. Neptune has been in Aquarius since late 1998. When you've had opportunities to become aware of and align with your spiritual ideals in the area of your life where Neptune and Aquarius has been transiting, as well as enhance your psychic sensitivities related to this area of your life. Neptune is presently at 28 degrees Aquarius and will move into Pisces on February 3rd, 2012, the sign it rules, and its natural placement. For information about Pisces and Neptune, please listen to the two Astro Highlights YouTubes entitled Neptune and Pisces, What It Means for You, and Neptune and Pisces by House 1-12. to Neptune's station direct on November 9th is followed by a Taurus full moon on November 10th. And on that same day, Mars moves into Virgo for an unusually long stay, 8 month stay. The Taurus full moon is at 18 degrees Taurus, exact at 12.16 p.m. Pacific. The Taurus full moon inspires you with desire for creature comforts and pleasurable pursuits. Take time to nourish yourself and enjoy, uh, and enjoy your creature comforts that you have. Uh, take time for good food, good company. Enjoy relaxing or entertaining with loved ones, ones in your home or get out into nature. Appreciate even the smallest of your physical plane pleasures in life, your body, your home, running water, indoor lighting, food, and clothing. The Taurus full moon represents a grounded time for celebrating all that brings pleasure and comfort into your life. Fortunately, Taurus, an earth sign, is in an auspicious trine to Pluto in Capricorn, and today at 8.15 p.m. Pacific, the planet Mars leaves Leo and enters Virgo, another earth sign. This makes for a grounding and stabilizing grand earth trine between Mars, the planet of action and initiative, and Virgo, the sign of service and attention to details, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, and Taurus, the sign of pleasure and comfort, and Pluto, the planet of regeneration and rebirth, and Capricorn, the sign representing form, structure, and discipline. This grand earth trine will remain in effect until July 2012 when Jupiter moves into Gemini and Mars moves into Libra. A grand earth trine is excellent for giving form to things and signifies an easy flow of energy for manifesting in the physical world. Look in your own astrology chart to see where these energies are constellating to know what is being supported in your life for manifestation, completion, and harvest in the physical world. This is an excellent time to celebrate your completions over the past two weeks and over the last six months. Review what has happened for you and all that you've accomplished since the Taurus new moon earlier this year on May 2nd. The Taurus full moon is also an excellent time for letting go and releasing anything that displeases you or brings displeasure into your life. The Taurus full moon will illumine situations, people, and things that do not nourish your life and give you an opportunity to release and let go. 
On November 22nd, the Sun enters adventurous and expansive Sagittarius, and the very next day, on November 23rd, Mercury stations retrograde at 20 degrees Sagittarius, followed the very next day on November 24th by a solar eclipse. That's a new moon at 2 degrees Sagittarius. This represents a tremendous opportunity for releasing and freeing, out, freeing up old stuck energies in this area of your life. Since Jupiter governs the higher mind and your beliefs, you may get freed from something that has held you back for many, many years. Sagittarius loves the freedom to adventure and seek new horizons. You may be presented with some fortunate circumstances for moving forward in this area of your life, where the Sun, Mercury, and solar eclipse are constellating. These energies can last for up to six months in their influence. So Mercury's retrograde motion is arcing over the pair of eclipses happening during this time, and Mercury's retrograde offers opportunities to review and rethink things and to revise and make changes in the area of your life where it's transiting. And since Mercury's transit is through Sagittarius, you could be break, breaking free of old attitudes and upgrading your thinking and becoming aware of ways to adjust or establish mental patterns for better outcomes and to become more aligned with your higher self. About two weeks after the solar eclipse in Sagittarius, the planet Uranus station is direct at zero degrees Aries on December 9th, and the very next day on December 10th, we have the lunar eclipse at 18 degrees Gemini. Gemini, remember, is ruled by the planet Mercury. Then a few days after the lunar eclipse in Gemini, the planet Mercury stations direct on December 13th at 4 degrees Sagittarius. Eclipses always propel sudden change and forward movement. The planet Uranus is in a harmonious aspect to the lunar eclipse at this time, which will lend rocket jet fuel to the lunar eclipse for sudden forward movement that could feel jarring or even shocking. Given that Uranus aspect to the lunar, lunar eclipse is harmonious, the outcome should feel beneficial, but your way of getting there could quite possibly feel like a wild, uncharted trip to the moon. Look in your astrology chart to see where all of these energies are constellating for driving revolutionary movement and sudden change. The lunar eclipse is illuminating opportunities for rapid movement in the areas of your life where the signs Sagittarius and Gemini and the planet Uranus are located. Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury. Both planets represent communications and connections, though Uranus is much more supercharged and electrical. Electricity, transportation, computers, and the internet are some of the vehicles for in connecting and communicating that represent Gemini and Uranus energies. To learn about Uranus station in Aries and what it means for you, please uh, watch Astro Highlights YouTube Uranus in Aries. Uranus will be transiting the sign Aries through 2018 and is moving to form an exact square to the planet Pluto now at 6 degrees Capricorn. Their first exact square is this June 2012. The square between Pluto and Uranus will be exact five times from June 2012 through 2018. This represents the breakdown, revolution, and change of old established systems. We end the year with the winter solstice on December 21st, the same day that the sun moves into stabilizing Capricorn at 9.30 p.m. Pacific, followed by a Capricorn new moon at 2 degrees Capricorn on December 24th. Then on Christmas Day, December 25th, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, often referred to as Santa Claus, stations direct at 2.09 p.m. Pacific. These planetary constellations are stabilizing and crown the fast-paced relic represented by the previous celestial events in November and earlier in December. It's time for you to take a deep breath and allow yourself to release any residual tensions as you relax briefly before the start of a brand new year in 2012. Thanks so much for joining me. Wishing you much prosperity, peace, and happiness always. Please check out pureplanessentials.com home of organic pure essential oils and custom crafted blends, sprays, and ready-to-use formulas. That website again is pureplanessentials.com. I'm KG Styles with your Astro Highlights.